Thank you. Thank you so much. So welcome today. My name is Katrina Daytner, and I'm the Associate Dean for the College of Education and Human Services. Um, and I want to welcome you here today. And um, just to start out with, I think it's kind of helpful because you are in a College of Education and Human Services, and it does not say dietetics or nutrition in that college term. Um, I think it's always kind of helpful to think about the different levels. So you all are nutrition and dietetics, is that right? Or nutrition food service management, sorry. I know that both of our majors are in. Um, within the department of kinesiology, which is in the College of Education and Human Services. So you may get some things from us and just wanted you to know that that's why you're getting um, information from the Dean's office uh, within the college. So um, today you take another step on your path to graduation as you're moving from your first year advisor to your major advisor. And before we get started, I wanna just make a couple of announcements or talk about a couple of things. First of all, you both should be entered in our Western Online course, which has information, resources, um, valuable resources for you, information about um, your major, as well as um, different, your degree plans, those types of things. So if you haven't had a chance, I would encourage you to go take a look at that. It's called Your Path to Graduation. And then the second thing is, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our plan for today. So you're going to get to meet some really important people in your academic success, people that you may already know and new people that you probably haven't met yet. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about your major and some helpful hints for you to be successful. And then we'll give you some time at the end to ask any questions, but feel free to ask throughout. I think everybody on the call here would be happy to answer questions as they come to you. So to get us started, I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle Yeager, the first year advisor. Welcome. I hope you're staying warm and in your room and not having to go out into this into the snow today. Um, I just want to say how proud I am of you both. I know that uh, sometimes graduation feels like it's so far in the future. And so I my hats off to the College of Education and Human Services who came up with this idea of celebrating the milestones. And this is a milestone. You've accomplished quite a bit. We started working with you in the spring of your high school year. And um, you have worked very hard at transitioning from high school to college. I think as now that you have that first semester behind you, I bet you would say that you learned a ton of new things about not only yourself, but about how to be a college student and how to succeed at being a college student. That's the most important thing. Um, so with that, your year of working with first year advising has come to an end and we are handing you off to the very capable hands of Riley, who will be your department advisor. Um, as well as the, the faculty and chair who are here today who are going to see you along your way as well. So my feeling to you is that please pat yourself on the back. You've done a great job and our doors are always open to you. Good luck to you. Great, thanks, Michelle. Um, as Michelle said, it's now my pleasure to introduce you to your new advisor who is Riley Kanitzer. And she um, is going to talk to you a little bit about herself um, and talk to you about how you can get a hold of her and um, start to make those connections. Hi, folks. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Riley. I go by she, her, or they, them pronouns. Um, and I am a brand new advisor. I'm new to WIU. I started in November. Um, so I also advise for a couple other different majors within the College of Education including nutrition and dietetics and nutrition and food service management. Um, since I'm new, I'm gonna um, thank you ahead of time for your patience as we learn together. And uh, I will put myself out there as your advocate and I am here to help you and support you with whatever your needs are. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have any um, concerns, questions, just wanna chat. The best way to get in touch with me is actually to email me. I can put that in the chat as well. And I'm also going to drop my Calendly link. Uh, that's what you use to schedule appointments with me. Uh, my best advice for y'all is to schedule early. <laughs> and um, especially with the next, um, the registration for the next term coming up, I'd like to see um, our new students 
in February and March. Uh, so you're ready for registration um, ahead of time. So you can just sign up and not have to worry about it. So that's one piece of advice. Another piece of advice I have for you um, is to uh, definitely check your email often. I'm gonna make com communicating mostly via email with you. Um, you can uh, call me in the office, but email is gonna be the fastest way to get in touch with me. So check your email, we'll, we'll be sending opportunities your way, internship information, program updates, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so to stay up to date, do that. Um, and I suppose the last piece of advice I wanna I wanna give is regarding those communication pieces and keeping in touch with me and um, come in early. If you're encountering an issue, a struggle, if you're facing something that is kind of overwhelming, come talk to me about it before it gets to the point where it becomes a problem and we'll try to sort it out. You know, I wanna um, be here to support you through not only your educational journey, but uh, also your, your personal journey too. Cause I know college is a, definitely a time of self-discovery, of exploration. Um, so I'm here to encourage you in all of that. And, Apart from the professional stuff, um, a little bit about me as a, as a human being. Um, I actually have my, my cat here with me today. This is Luna Bear. Uh, so I'm a cat person. I also have a couple of pet rats. I love kayaking and fishing. I like to cook and, um, oh gosh, I like, I'm into all sorts of stuff, media, video games. So if you ever wanna chat about that stuff too, that's on the table. But anyway, it's very nice to meet all of you and I look forward to working with you and uh, helping you along your way. Great, thanks Riley so much. Um, now I'm gonna turn it over to Re um, Dr. Renee Polovinsky, who is the department chair for kinesiology and she'll talk to you a little bit about and then probably turn it over to your two main faculty members, Lori Knaus and Emily Shoup. Thank you, Dr. Daytner. Well, first of all, welcome. And I said earlier, uh, who doesn't love a snow day? But right now, if you just look at the screen, the students are outnumbered. Um, but that is because we pride ourselves in being so student centered. And when the call goes out, hey, who wants to talk to some students? Who wants to welcome? Who wants to talk about how to be successful? People come forward. We all jumped at the opportunity. You know, we, we, we are, again, here for your success. And um, I'm so happy that, that you took the part of your morning to or afternoon now to join us. And a little bit about me, I'm, this is my 20th year here at WIU. So this is my forever home. Um, you will see the folks on the screen. They, they've been here quite a long time as well, exception of Riley, but um, that's gonna be exciting to um, Riley to feel that energy and the vibe that, that the experience um, they'll have being here. I also wanna share with you, my office is actually in Brophy Hall. And some of your courses may be in Brophy, but the majority of your courses uh, with Dr. Knaus and Dr. Shoup are probably going to be over in Kanabla. So don't be afraid when you're in Brophy Hall to search out the space and, and find me and say hi to me or any problems that you're having. Feel free to reach out. We're here for you and help you to be successful. Um, and with that, I'm gonna introduce uh, Dr. Lori Knaus is the director of the program and Dr. Emily Shoup, award-winning Emily Shoup, uh, Provost Award winner for various times of service and teaching um, is also here on the call and you probably are uh, familiar with, with both of these. So I'll stop here and let those two take over. Thank you, Renee. Well, Gray, long time no see. Um, we spent many Friday afternoons together in Zoom review of Intro to Nutrition last semester. And both of her parents are WIU grads. And so there was no doubt that she was, she was coming to WIU, um, right? Yeah. I, I remember certain little things, you know, that you said. Um, and um, something that was shared with regard to whether there's one student or whether there's 20, um, it doesn't matter. Faculty are gonna put forward the same effort and so Gray would be an, ex there were some Friday afternoons where it was just Gray and myself going through the material. It didn't matter. It's not gonna be canceled. Um, Destiny, I have not had the pleasure of, of meeting you one-on-one, -on -one, but I hope to soon. Um, my office is in Kanablock along with Dr. Shoops. And actually we hope that 
you take the opportunity to come over and investigate the area because outside of our office is an area for students. And so students are dietetics, nutrition, and food service management students are commonly in there studying together, Zooming classes, in between face-to-face -face classes, eating lunch, doing a variety of things, just bonding with each other. Both of the majors are small, and so you're going to get to know us very well. That's a good thing, and, and you probably picked WIU because you wanted more interaction with regard to faculty. And so we, we do welcome that. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, absolutely email or um, call either one of us. And I will tell you, I'm going to put in a little plug for Riley. I tested her out um, maybe last weekend, maybe the weekend before. She does work on weekends when there's an issue and I sent her something, you know, and it wasn't, it wasn't a hard, complicated fix. But instead of having a student be anxious all weekend, she took care of it. And so very thrilled um, to have a new advisor that does that. We had a, one of our long-term advisors, she always would do that. And so um, looking forward to that. Hopefully you have had or will be having classes with both of us. Um, and so I'm gonna let Dr. Shoup introduce herself a little bit and then we'll talk more about the program. Welcome, I am Dr. Shoup and Destin, I've had Destiny and it's great to see, I'm not sure Gray, have I had you yet? I don't think so. No, there was like one meeting like over the summer before school started, but other Very than that. Very good. No. And Destiny, which classes have I had you with? Um, I have, I think I have nutrition right now. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Well, as Dr. Knaus has said, you know, it's the two of us and you'll get to know us very, very well. And we get to know our students very well. We will often refer to team dietetics because we are more of a family, a team. We're here to support each other, to help each other. It's not a competition, but it's a, a family. It's a way of helping each other and being there. And you will see a lot of the dietetic students connect like that. And so as Dr. Knaus had said, they will sit outside our offices um, in that kind of open area and they'll study together. They'll be on Zoom, you know, Zoom class together. Um, but it's a great atmosphere to know that you're wanted, you're welcome, you have a home, a place to be. So um, I also, besides teach, I run, I am the advisor for three of our student organizations. And so I do run the WIU Food Pantry and I have a student organization that's in charge of that. And so I'm the, that advisor. I am the advisor for SANE, which is the Student Association for Nutrition Education. And of course, the pandemic COVID has done so much to hamper some of our things. Um, but we've worked a lot with like big brothers, big sisters and doing cooking classes, health fairs, you know, out in the community to help um, educate people about nutrition. And then I'm also the advisor for the Food and Culture Club, which is a wonderful club that brings culture to our campus through a couple different events each semester. So I'd love to have you join me in these clubs um, to get involved, get to know your peers. It looks really good um, on your resume, your applications to show how involved that you are. So welcome. We're very excited to have you join us and look forward to having more classes with you. All right, why, program wise, go ahead. Minute, Renee. Now you know why I said award winning shoot because she is Miss Service. And, uh, you know, I think you should grab those coattails and, and get involved. It's the best thing, really, that you guys can do. In looking at your programs, many of, many of the classes you're going to take are going to be very similar. And I will let you know that this past fall, um, some curricular changes were made with regard to both of your programs. And so I would assume that you'll be introduced to what those changes were um, by Riley in March. She told me, I've got the four-year plan for dietetics completed, but not for nutrition and food service management yet. She gave me till March. Wasn't that nice? So she gave me a little bit of leeway to get that to her. Um, realize you're still going to be at 120 hours with regard to graduation. 
Um, Destiny, the nutrition and food service management side, you're going to see um, more, a few more hospitality courses than what Gray is going to see. Gray is going to see more of the, the science type courses. And so there, there, there are some differences. Um, with regard to internships, Gray will be doing her internship after graduation, post back. It's a competitive internship. And I know I've talked to you about that before, but we'll be talking and reiterating things all the time to make sure our students are very well informed. And I also believe I told you that starting in January 1, 2024, a, a master's degree will be required to take the RD exam. However, most of the dietetic internships incorporate that master's program. Destiny, you're like, whew, okay, right? <laughs> and so Destiny, your internship is included within your Bachelor of Science degree. And so you will take a nine hour internship your last semester at WIU, typically your last semester at WIU. It does not need to be done in Macomb. If there's a place that you, that you find that is appropriate, that's closer to home and you wanna do that, that's absolutely fine. If, there, if you say, hey, I don't wanna go back to those rules of mom and dad. And so I would rather stay in Macomb. We can work with that as well. Um, you will, Destiny, you will also have a three semester hour practicum in your program. And so you will, that's 120 hours, clock hours of job shadowing. And you will usually do that late in your sophomore year, early junior year. And that gives you a sample with regard to different avenues you may want to pursue for the longer internship. And so um, kind of keep that in mind, yours is included with regard to your degree program. However, both of you are gonna be in some fun classes together. Um, students generally have no complaints about the food classes. They have fun up there in the kitchens. Um, so you have a beginning foods and then you have a quantity foods course. Have either of you taken any of the foods courses yet? No, I think they're, um on the degree plan I looked at, I think the upcoming fall semester is when okay. Yeah, we, we put them in the, the sophomore year, but some students, they, they're so eager to take them, they jump in their freshman year. And so you both may be in those classes together and they are taught by Mrs. Cassidy. And so you will have a lecture for a couple hours during the week. And then you will go into the lab for three to four hours to apply the principles that you learn in the lecture in the labs. And so again, beginning foods, learning basic skills. Hopefully you have some basic skills. If not, Mrs. Cassidy will be fine. We have had students not know what a spatula was going in there. There, there have been some catastrophes go, go on in the kitchen um, before, and it's always I, you know, you laugh. The, the student was probably traumatized at the time and now they probably laugh at it. Um, I'll never forget um, some students put um, angel food cake in a jello mold pan in the oven and it just overflowed and smoke was coming out of the ovens, you know, fire alarms going off. So the labs are good times, good times. Um, Gray, you get an extra um, foods class and Destiny, it's an option for you on the nutrition and food service management. And that is the food science class. Dr. Shoup teaches that class. And again, you have a couple hours of lecture a week and then you go into lab to apply some of those principles. I, I will tell you, you're gonna be coloring foods, different colors. It, it's not the same as the Cassidy food classes, but students are still having a good time in there. And so you may have to eat a purple chocolate chip cookie or you know something, some modifying it in some fashion. But again, usually, usually the cooking labs are where we see lots of smiles, students having a good time, um, and also, like Dr. Shoup brought up with those student organizations, our students are familiar with those kitchens. And so if there's an activity that one of the student organization needs 
to utilize those kitchens, the students are already comfortable with utilizing all that equipment. And so I know, again, pre prior to COVID, I remember there was like mountains and mountains of baked potatoes during finals week that um, the students were preparing meals, um, which for one of the churches, isn't that right? Um, they were preparing the meals that they were serving all the students who came over a free meal. And so I just remember like baked potatoes just as, as far as the eye could see, you know, I go up there, I look around. Um, you will also do some things in some other classes, um, utilizing, utilizing some foods. Um, so good times up in the foods lab. Look, Shupa's smiling. She, she taints foods. Every time she goes sample, taste this, taste this. I'm always like leery, like, what did you do to that? Because she's coming out of food science. It's not the something has been modified. And so if she does that to you, you just keep your eyes open. What, what has she done to that food product? Um, so with regard to grades, hopefully um, both of you, you know the importance of grades. Um, do you have to be a straight A student? No. Um, do you need to be, do you need to be at least in the threes? Ideally, yes. Um, and so Gray, yours is a little bit more structured. For you to be competitive with regard to internships, the higher the GPA, the better. And typically, a GPA of 3.0 is about the minimum of getting a dietetic internship. It's been, it's been several years since we had a dietetic major get in with a GPA less than 3.0. Destiny, I'm not, I'm not letting you off the hook. I'm not. And so, but you, you do have, you do have a little bit more, more freedom, but again, the, if you have, if you have a good GPA, when you take um, pre-internship class with me, I would say, absolutely put that on, put that on your resume, let them know what a serious student you are. And so put that on there. Um, have you heard enough from me talking right now? I'll let Shoop talk for a little bit and then I'll take it back or you can ask questions. You can ask us ladies about anything. Um, we, don't, we don't offend easily. Um, we've been asked about everything. And since we're right in the building, I, I've, been, I've had students come in and ask for some unique things. Do you have blank? You know, do you have a Band-Aid? Yes, by George, I do have Band-Aids now because for whatever reason, students were needing Band-Aids. Um, you need a face mask, come on down. We, we'll get you a face mask. We'll do whatever we can. So Emily, if you wanna take over. I was just gonna say, as Dr. Canals was talking about some of these classes, the students really do bond together and help each other. And so I cannot tell you how many times I have seen them you know, sitting in that room or they'll go to someone's house and they have study sessions and they quiz each other and they work, to get, they work together. And, really try to do everything they can to help and support each other. So don't be afraid to ask us questions. Don't be afraid to say, you know, I'm struggling or I have a problem because that's what we're here for. We are both mothers, you know, we both, um, you're, you're our kids more or less, and we do what we can to help you and to make sure that you succeed. That is our number one goal. We're not here just to throw numbers at you and to have you recall, but we want to see you learn. We want to see you grow and not just academically, but as a person, you know, as a member of our community, as a member of our family, we want to see um, how wonderful you are. So questions. Um, I know you mentioned like all of the organizations, like um, the food pantry and everything. Um, I was kind of wondering like how we might want to go about getting involved in that because I haven't heard it very much. <laughs> well, all you have to do is send me an email and I can put my email in the chat and then I will make sure that that email, your email gets off to the correct person. And so they're very, very good. They're very engaged. And really you'll see with a lot of our students that they're in all three organizations. Um, so they're very active. They're all together. They're they're always excited to have you help them join them. You know, it's, it is a very unique major, you know, something I don't feel like I see a lot on campus, the closeness that they have and how they work together. So send me an email and I will get you all signed up. 
Okay, thank you. And with regard to the food pantry, I've heard um, several students because of COVID, the number of patrons that are being served by the food pantry has gone up tremendously. And so many hands make light work. And so absolutely, um, when these, Shoop's always telling me like how many thousands of pounds of food came in that day. You know, it's always in thousands of pounds. Well, somebody has to move thousands of pounds of food. And so, um, like I said, many hands make light work. They will welcome you with open arms, um, the volunteers. And again, now would be a great time because oftentimes you will work your way up into leadership um, aspects of the different organizations by your senior year. And so many of those seniors will be graduating in May. And so it, it's always nice to replenish and have people getting familiar with some of those different positions. It is really easy to get a leadership role between the three organizations. And that looks again, really, really good on your resume coming out, you know, as you're applying for internships, as you're applying for a job. Um, I always tell the students that graduating from Western allows you to apply for the job, but everybody else that's applying against you also has a degree or they wouldn't be able to apply what sets you apart? What makes you different? What makes you unique and special? And so it's these opportunities that really make you shine, that really show that you are more than just a graduate, that you are um, a person, that you have excelled in many aspects of this world, and that um, is very desirable among employers. So that will definitely help you. So we are excited to have you join us, and you will never be bored. There's like now said, there's always laughter. There's always something going on. There's always a cause we're, we're fighting for uh, doing something. So welcome. And kind of piggybacking off of what Shoop said, um, when you, because we're a smaller major dietetics um, program compared to some of the others in the US, we know our students thoroughly. And so right now we are writing recommendations for students applying for internship programs. We know our students. We, we truly can personalize each one of those recommendation letters to that student, knowing some of the things that they've done, knowing some of the things that maybe they've done in the class that we just observed. We didn't say anything, but we observed it and we're gonna put it in, you know, something that, something that sets students apart. Um, I will tell you a few years back, we had, we had a student that I didn't know until other students shared with me that this student was organizing test review sessions at the library, was booking out a room for students that were in certain classes and it was majors and minors, and they were all going there. You can bet that went in the letter. The student hadn't shared it with me, but as soon as I found out, that is something above and beyond what is going on in, in the grade book. And so we will, we will know a lot of those things. And I will tell you that Dr. Knaus is very proactive. She doesn't sit still ever, and she's always tweaking the major to make it the best for you. So we, she talks to our, our majors and our graduates and what do we need to do better and how can we make this? So she, as she talks about curriculum changes, these are things that she's doing to make a better experience for you, um, to make you more prepared. And she doesn't like to brag upon herself, but she does a phenomenal job. The internship class that she talks about, it is the only one, like in our state, there's very, very few internships um, or undergraduate programs that offer this. And so, at Western, she takes you through step by step by step on what you need to do. Whereas at other universities, you're doing it all on your own. You don't have anybody there helping you. And so that is a huge, huge benefit. Um, the national placement rate for internships, you know, I don't know if it's gone up. It was like at 50%. We've always been 90, 100% in there. I mean, we've had very, very great rates of placement, much, much higher than the national average. And that is because a lot of that work that Dr. Knaus does, that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, our last accreditation that we had, the reviewers came back and they met with the students, they met with the alum. Um, and the alum 
the students that were in their internship or just completed it, when they met with them, they told them um, things like when they went in the first day, they had to do a test and just to see kind of where their placement was. And that over and over and over, we hear that the WIU um, students had the highest placement, that they were the strongest students coming out, that they felt so confident about the knowledge and education that they got from Western. So we are doing everything we can to set you up for success. But it may be painful to you at times. I'm not gonna lie. You may, you may give us the stink eye and hate us for a period of time, but we're doing it for your own good. Just like, just like family would do. You know, I'm, I'm doing this to, for you to learn. So when you leave, you're not feeling incompetent. And that's very important. Um, we do have um, nutrition and food service management majors have had no problems getting jobs when they graduate the same way with dietetics, no problem getting jobs. And so some majors may struggle. Pe people are eating. And right now, um, if you're in a management position, Destiny, you're going to have your work cut out for you. But hopefully the pandemic will be over by the time you graduate because food service establishments are scrambling for employees right now. And so, um, but, but you would definitely have a job in the same way with, the same way with Gray, with dietetics. Our students, they, they just don't have problems getting jobs. I just held up. It, uh... We'd have a class that was field trip and we would take them to different locations. Um, but because of the pandemic, we've had a hard time. So was it last Friday? I think we had a uh, field trip class and I had six of our alum that came on and spoke to the students and talked about what they did. And they were all very passionate about what they do. They were all very um, excited and love the roles that they are in. And so to see that success from our alum and to see you know, how um, they have just achieved beyond their belief is, is such a great thing. So you will too, you will come back and talk to these students and tell us the wonderful things that you are doing. So any questions, ladies? I did have one pertaining to like, um, uh, minors, because I know I talked to Dr. Yeager about it when I was um, scheduling for this semester. And I think she said that there was like no, like we didn't have to declare a specific minor, but I was just wondering about that because I remembered about it. <laughs> Correct. No, that she's absolutely right that dietetics is a full major. It's 120 hours. However, if you wanted to do a minor, it would be above and beyond. And I know that you're an exceptional student, Gray, and so you may be able to work in another class here or there. And it depends what your minor, what you wanted it to be. Um, because I'm thinking we take several of the business courses already to where to pick up that minor would not be such, an, such a huge undertaking. Um, and I know there is another student who technically, technically is a freshman, but transferred in so many hours, is at junior status, and she is looking to do a dance minor. And since she had all these transfer hours, and I think you had a few, if I recall. Yeah, a few. Hey, you know, to where that may open up some time in your schedule to be able to do that. Great. do you One wanna more. go, like, perhaps schedule an appointment with me to chat about the possibilities and see what that would look like time-wise for you? Yeah, I was planning to. I just didn't know, like, I was, had it now and I didn't know when would be a better time to ask. <laughs> yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah. great one question. More, one more thing I want to make sure you guys know, we have a ton of scholarships. We have so many dietetic scholarships, kinesiology scholarships. There's, please, please apply for these. Um, I believe you can probably go on the, there's a scholarship portal now that you can go in and put all your information, apply for, and then that deciphers it to all of the scholarships that you qualify for. But we have so many scholarships and we have years where people just don't apply. So we're, we're trying to give you money. Just go on, apply for the scholarships. We're here to help you. It's free money. And inside the classroom for both of your majors, I've listed out um, the scholarships that are available just to you, not university-wide, but just to you because 
many of um, many of our alums are have been extremely generous with regard to scholarships. I know in the past it was not unusual to give out around fifteen thousand for majors in, with regard to dietetics or nutrition and food service management. So please, please take advantage. Usually the due date, I believe, is like the middle of March. Does that sound right? Yeah. So so Jill actually put the, the email or the web link to it. And if you go on that web link, you'll go into a portal. It will say, I don't remember what the term it. I think it just says apply here. And the great thing about that portal, the scholarship portal, is it will match you up with all of the relevant um, scholarships. So it will take your information based upon how you answer questions and it will determine which scholarships you're, you would be applicable for. So um, I encourage you, and it is March 15th is the due date for those scholarships. So I'd encourage you to go in there as soon as possible and to talk yourself up. There'll be lots of questions. Um, you know, answer them completely, definitely. And some of them may ask you after you've submitted your application, you, there may be some follow-up where they, you need to give an essay, for example. The general scholarships typically don't require that, but there are some that may have some extra things, but you'll get emails related to that. So yes, thanks for uh, mentioning that, Emily, because that's a, um, we do unfortunately go some years where we have money and we don't have students to give it to. So please don't hesitate to, we want to give it away. And the, and the donors want us to give it away, right? They didn't give it to us for it to sit, so. Yeah, and some of the donors um, are still living and they there'll be like a scholarship banquet typically in the fall and they want to be there and meet you and get to know you and you know give a spiel, I guess, at the mic about and give you the scholarship money themselves. And so, um, absolutely. It is free money. Do not tell your parents you are turning away free money. They will not be pleased. And so take advantage. Other questions? Um, I know you uh, keep mentioning like the classroom on Western Online. Is that just like automatically put into our course list? I was a little confused about that because I haven't seen anything about that prior to this. So yes, your, for the Your Path to Graduation, it should be, if you go into Western Online, it should come up um, as you having access. If not, send a message to um, Dr. Knaus or Dr. Shoup or myself or Jill, and we'll make sure that we get you into that. But you should be in there. Yeah, and it's called Your Path to Graduation. Then once you go in there, you'll see that information for every major within the college. So then you just identify the nutrition and dietetics major and that's where your specific information will be. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? If not, I wanna thank you both for coming today. Um, and before we uh, let you go, I wanna introduce you to one other person and that's Jill Bisbee. She's our um, recruitment retention and student success officer. Um, so she's another great resource. She's put in the chat another um, link for you that has some student resources. It gives you information about different events that are happening within the college. Um, so please feel free to attend some of those um, and just other general types of information. So we're very happy to have you today. We hope you enjoy the rest of your snow day. Um, stay safe and have a good rest of your rest of your time here at Western.